Well, we begin with a breaking news update this morning. The man who police say shot and killed five people at a Maryland newspaper is now charged with five counts of first degree murder. Investigators continue to try to learn more about his motive, but KBY2's Lauren Clark explains police do believe this was a targeted attack. Well, that's right, Denny and Brian. The Capital Gazette are mourning right now. Their five colleagues uh, who were shot and killed in their office yesterday. Officers say the gunman opened fire inside the building and was carrying a shotgun and smoke grenades when he was apprehended. Investigators say they had to use facial recognition software to identify him because sources say he damaged his fingertips to avoid identification. But despite the tragedy, the paper still went to press today. And here's a look at the paper's front page edition this morning. The Capitol Gazette is reporting the suspect, 38-year-old Jared Ramos, held a long grudge against the paper. The newspaper says it all started with a 2011 article that covered a criminal harassment charge against Ramos. The paper's former publisher and editor at the time told the Gazette that Ramos then filed a defamation suit and named him personally in it. The publisher also said that Ramos made multiple threats to the paper online and remained angry when his lawsuit was dismissed by a judge. Right now, the victims are being remembered for their work as journalists and one as a sales assistant. First victim's name is Wendy Winters. Second victim is Rebecca Smith. Third victim is Robert Hyacin. Fourth victim is Gerald Feshman. And the fifth victim is John McNamara. Well, the former publisher and editor of the Gazette says he was horrified to hear what happened. He told his former paper that at one point years ago, he told the Gazette's attorney that, quote, there is a guy who's going to come in and shoot us. Police arrived within one minute of the first emergency call. Two other people who were hurt by flying glass were treated for minor injuries at the time at the hospital. Again, Ramos is facing charges of five accounts of first degree murder. We're working to get you more information throughout the morning. Reporting live here in the studio, Lauren Clark, KBY 2 News.